Hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome to League of Legends Absolution. And from what I hear, this is the ending cinematic for the current event. And I gotta say, I did complete all the missions in-game. I did all the objectives. I completed all the lands. And unfortunately, I skipped all of the story. So, let's check out the ending. Let's see what I missed. I skipped it because I didn't really care for any of the characters. Uh, besides Viego a bit because he's like my jungle... One of my mains for jungle, but... Love. All the sacrifices that were made. All the lives forever tainted. There he is. Emo boy himself. You have driven good men mad. I just like him because he has a big sword. That's it. Like... And mad men good. No one trusts I love me a good... Two-hander, you know? Me. Yeah. So predictable. Art. Oh, really? Vayne, Ashkan, alright? Everybody's here? Even when? Really? She's a doll, it's okay. Love She's not real. Is not easily dissuaded. Graves as well, yep. At long last. Is he gonna like save his wife or what? No! Show them no pity. Ooh. Oh, are these the skins? Is that Pantheon? Yeah, it is. Okay. Don't nobody here own a shirt? That's so true, though. That's so true, though. Everybody's gonna, like, show off, you know? Everybody's gonna, like, show off. So is she gonna become a champion, the new, uh, his wife, or what? If she gets resurrected. Got the souls. Your black and broken heart has destroyed everything. You turned our season of love into an eternity of bitterness and madness. All this death, all this ruination, hmm. and for ruination. what? This obsession. <sighs> I loved you until my final breath. Is she bad? Why wasn't that enough? Our tragedy should have died with me. They're not dead. No. Let me rest. Okay, so I guess she's not showing up as a champion. No. No. They lived happily ever after. <laughs> Try to pull a fast one there. It's okay, he'll be back. Unless they delete him from the game or something and that was it, you know. <laughs> I doubt it. Huh. 
So I guess they're not making her a champion? Maybe they still are? I don't know. What, 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 what? Oh, statue fell. The figurine fell. Hmm. And I guess the good guys won. Yep, the Sentinels of Light. So, like I said, I skipped through all the story because none of the characters interest me. I don't play any of them. I used to play Graves way back in the day, but that was when like he was an ADC and not even play ADCs anymore. So, yeah. Um, the only one that was cool to me was Viego because even though he's super edgy and his voice lines are so annoying, I really enjoy characters who carry like big swords, kind of like, you know, um, Final Fantasy VII, Berserk, all that stuff, you know, like I really enjoy like a character who's like swinging around like a sword like twice his size, right? That's kind of like the only reason I like Viego, right? And I guess I do like edgy characters after all. Yeah, maybe. You know, dark characters, those are like my favorite usually. So that's why I enjoy him and I, he's pretty damn good in the jungle. But besides that, all the other characters, I don't care. So it's cool that they actually incorporated the skins in the game, in the, in the cinematic, in the story. That's actually pretty nice and pretty smart of them to make some money, obviously. Um, but they only showed Pantheon, though, as the bad guy. Wasn't there like also like Shivano and stuff? No, wait, she was there in the previous movie. You're right. She was there in the previous movie. Wasn't there like somebody else? I think there were like more people than, uh, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But, um, you know, when, when you do a movie about the Shadow Isles, a lot of people, I know they question, like, you know, where's Hecarim, where's Mordekaiser, where's Yorick, right? And they kind of feel like, feels like they kind of like got left behind on this. And instead you had people like Graves and who else is there? Vayne, I mean, Vayne makes sense, I guess. Ashkan is new, so it makes sense. Uh, again, like Graves... Just because he got a skin, he's part of the, the movie, which, okay, I guess, sure, why not, it's cool. But, I don't know, it's kind of like, you're, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't when it comes to League of Legends, because you want to see your favorite heroes, your favorite champions, but there's so many of them, there's like over 100-something, so there's no way you can put them all in a cinematic, and then you're going to do different cinematics with different parts of the world, and you're never going to get what you want, and when you get them, they probably won't be well represented, right? Um... So, you're going to be pissed if they lose or something, right? Uh, like I was in the, old, in the other cinematic when J Jax lost to uh, Nautilus, which is like, <laughs> no fucking way in lore. That's, that makes no sense, and oh, that's a rant in itself, because I watched the making of, and it was something just like a guy is like, yeah, so I really like Nautilus, so I think it should be Jax. It's like, dude, did you know you know the lore? Like, no way Jax would lose to that. But anyways, that's another video for another time. <laughs> Uh, when it comes to League of Legends, uh, besides that, it's cool. They should do more some, the cinematics. They should have more events. They should have them like at least I don't know twice, three times a year. Would be pretty cool, I think, uh, to build the lore and you know to also for the upcoming games, right? Uh, besides League of Legends, the MMO and the fighting game and whatever they're making, right? Uh, it, it's good they're they're world world building. That's really cool. Anyways, not for Amazon. Thank you for watching. Peace out.